Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and I decided to take a video about this event, Trial of the Beast, simply because still whenever I join a lot of people don't know what to do on this event in order to uh, defeat the giant bear and to get the highest personal points as possible uh, because it's important to get personal points, without them you won't be able to uh, unlock the all the chests even though your server might have like 2 million points uh, like mine so let's try it um, first of all you need to understand that you need to have at least one tank that's a great idea to have and also especially for this uh, event they introduced super spiral rocket which will help you to defeat the bear and now i'm gonna try to show you the gameplay of the event and um, i will hope that more and more people will, uh, will understand how this event uh, actually works it should not be hard right like you need to use your artifact in a correct time uh, there is like a couple of uh, barrels appear on the map whenever you are fighting a giant bear and simply you need to click on the uh, your artifact click on the barrel and try to use it and try to explode it uh, so you will deal more and more damage um, now we finally have a match uh, and I want you, you guys to understand this is pretty simple uh, like it has only 4 million uh, health and by hitting uh, the giant bear you are only 5 people it will be hard for you to uh, defeat it even though even like especially if you don't have tier 5 player inside the fight right so you need to use your artifact and soon I will be able to show you guys how to use the artifact you of course uh, need to dodge all these charges um, and as you can see this is a fair explosive uh, like bomb stuff and now I will try to use it here as you can see you are using your artifact this bomb explodes and you are dealing more damage to the giant bear also if you will be able to explode two bombs at the same time uh, giant bear will just sleep and like he will receive more damage whenever he is sleeping so try to explode as much barrels as possible uh, in order to get as much uh, points to receive more rewards right we are going to escape the charge now uh, which is pretty simple as you can see um, i got lucky because these people understand how to play this event so let's try uh, to be as helpful as possible uh, like if you will just tend and hit the giant bear you won't gonna get uh, enough points per match uh, here i think the barrels are standing too far and we won't be able to explode it uh, together as you can see somebody else uh, used the artifact i still need like 30 seconds to use it mm, yep finally i have a good team who understands how to play this game as you can see now bear is sleeping and we are dealing way more damage when it was awake, right? Yeah, you can see how fast the health, health bar is getting low. This is the main mechanic of this uh, event. Uh, simply don't try and don't hit him uh, like you are hitting uh, behemoths. It's not a normal behemoth. You just have like approximately five minutes um, until uh, you will defeat. And you are only five people, so try to be as useful try to explode as much explosions as possible as you can see right now which i'm doing yep great explosion but i think i will get hit or not yep no great another charge you like your main job is to escape the charge and explode the explosions so you will be able to defeat the giant bear currently we are doing absolutely fine nobody got charged uh by the bear and we are exploding as much uh, explosions as possible this is like the main gameplay of the whole bear so try to understand it guys i still see a lot of people not knowing how to defeat this uh event uh, unfortunately you need a lot of points to get all the rewards doesn't really matter if you will if your server will have like even two million points like for example my server has two million points but I still could not uh, open all the rewards, so you still need to pay on a 
play uh, on a daily basis uh, in order for you to get the highest amount of points possible. I think we will be able to defeat this boss uh, pretty easily. Uh, like, it's not even close to getting raged, even though we won't be able to, like, if we will not be able to explode even more explosions, I think we still are able to defeat it. So, this is how you need to play uh, the um, this event in order to get the highest uh, possible points. Uh, now I think it's my time. Yep, I guess somebody else destroyed uh, the... Yep, it's almost gone. Uh, a little bit more, I guess. And uh, we will be able to kill the giant bear. So, like, this event is pretty simple, guys. You don't need to have a lot of tricks, a lot of, uh, like, uh, steps uh, in order for you to uh, kill the giant bear. As you can see, I got 500 personal points. If you are not killing the bear and you are just dying, you're gonna get maximum, I think, 100 points. Uh, like, you especially need to try to kill the giant bear in order to get, uh, like, highest amount of points. Simply because, as you can see, personal points matter, and it matter matters a lot. Uh, even if your server will get the highest amount of points, you still need uh, 2,000 points uh, to get every single chest in the game. So, it's really important. Try to explode as much uh, explosions as possible. Uh, try to avoid the charge of the bear uh, and try to have at least one tank um, in your uh, team. And yeah, I can try it one more time. Uh, maybe I will have even worse team and so you will guys understand what kind of mistakes people are making uh, in this game in general, in this event. So let's try one more time. Uh, it was pretty easy, pretty simple. As you can see, these two people don't understand. Uh, these three, two people don't understand what they need to do regarding artifacts. You actually need to equip the main artifact. Okay, let's let's still play. Uh, if they will confirm, even though like a couple of people does not have the correct artifacts which is needed, we will still try. Uh, like last uh, gameplay was like unique because. Uh, actually, almost every person understood what it needed to do. I guess uh, people are saying no because uh, these two uh, gentlemen don't know which kind of artifacts they need to equip. So, like, like, let's wait. Still, yeah, nobody wants to play with them. I guess now we have a tank. Uh, these two persons does not have the correct artifact equipped. So, yeah. You will see now how how effective it will be that not all every member of the fight have the correct artifact. You need to equip this uh, rocket in order to, for you to explode the explosions, right? Like Shadow Blades and Phoenix Eyes um, doesn't really matter in this event. It's much, much better to explode the explosions. You are dealing way, way more damage with that. So, like, our second gameplay just started. I can already see that it will be the hard one. Uh, this is the reason I'm making this video, because of people like this who does not understand how to play this event still. So, yeah. Uh, this barrel is too far, I guess, and it will be hard for Tank to bring the bear, but he is not even trying... Uh, I'm making videos for this type of players who does not know how to play this event. Uh, unfortunately, my tank is not moving uh, to barrels. Now I think he will. Uh, I guess he understood that uh, this one was too far. And yeah. I think he has a uh, wrong artifact, the tank. I'm not sure, I don't remember. Again, we need to charge right we need to move but nobody is trying to uh, hit the yeah I, it was our first explosion which was pretty late this is why i'm making this video because now from my own people will understand how to play with it now it's my turn and i actually hit it so that's good it will be better if we will be able to explode this one. I'm not tanking. This mage is tanking. So he's even moving away from the explosion, which uh, it's pretty understandable that uh, 
he does not know how to play this event. That's why maybe uh, the white bird will watch my video in the future and uh, he will know how to play this event. Finally, we were able to take the aggro from him. Uh, this tank is standing still. Uh, yep, again, you need to avoid the charge. And you can see how much less damage we did uh, when we did not uh, explode the explosions, right? We just did it twice this match. And the last time it was like in this moment, he was al almost dead, the giant bear. Now we have three explosions on the map. Uh, our tank is pretty much gone, which says a lot. So I'm making this video for people like this. I was pretty sure I would get some gameplay like this. So let's see if you if people will like this video because yeah, I don't know. It's not that hard. Uh, I know it's a new thing, the explosion, but uh, it's pretty easy to understand what you need to do. Uh, in six seconds I will have mine, uh, so like if this guy will move, I will be able to use... Yep, I can't. Yeah, too bad. Uh, these people think that whenever you do highest damage, you're gonna get the highest points, which is not true. Uh, you need to kill the bear at first, then you are getting the highest points. Now I will... Yep, he's charging, and I think I will be able to use my artifact here ah, that's a mistake i should have waited until this guy was uh, near he near the barrel don't make this kind of mistake i wish i had the artifact now maybe this guy will have it let's hope so yeah that's a big difference between uh, using explosions using your artifacts and not not doing it right so i hope after watching this video you will understand guys how to get as much points as possible from this event so like yeah first one was amazing gameplay all five players understood what you need to do to win but in the second gameplay uh, we have like at least three persons who does not understand how to win in this event and how to get highest points uh, after the game will be over you will guys see the difference between points uh, when we, we defeated the giant bear, I got 500 personal points. And now, since we did almost nothing, you will see how low the amount of points it will be. And it will determine like your rewards in the end of the event, right? So try to get as much uh, points as possible. Soon the giant bear will enrage and I will get one shot. No problem. Yep one shot again and you can see uh, the po amount of points 59 last game i got 500 a huge difference so uh, try to kill the bear that's the main idea about this event if you are not killing the bear you are not getting any points so i hope you're gonna like the video i hope it will be useful for you guys uh, and yeah thanks for watching uh, thanks for playing the game and thanks for supporting the channel. Bye bye. See you very soon.